see the difference when we add the cream to it. Now you can add as much or as little whipped cream as you want. It's totally a personal thing. But typically, like the creme mousseline is half and half. So what you want to do is mix up your pastry cream so that it's not lumpy at all. Okay, and then you're going to take your whipped cream. There's no sugar in this whatsoever. And you're going to fold it. Okay? Fold it in, and this is what's going to lighten it up. Now, the first portion of the whipped cream, just like anything else that we might do, is going to deflate quite a bit because what you're trying to do is lighten up the other one. So remember the technique, if you don't remember this from last semester, light into heavy. We never ever put the pastry cream into there. It will not mix properly. We need the light, the lighter of the two consistencies into the heavier of the two. Okay? You see I'm turning the bowl and I'm getting up underneath and then scraping the sides. So now we have a little bit lighter texture. If that's what you like, you can leave it there. For me, that's not good enough. It's just too um, thick. It's just too thick. And then also, you can you could have brought this a little bit less. Can you pour a little bit of cream into that to loosen it? That would be great. Um, because I'm folding, I'm also kind of in the process whipping the cream a little more so it's thickening and thickening. But we don't want to take it too far and then have it turn to butter inside of our um, pastry cream. But you can see it's starting to really kind of loosen up. Go ahead. That's not ours, actually. So we have, could you use real heavy cream, hopefully? Just so you guys, always our shelf has all of our product. There is blue, Alpine in the red bin. All that nice cream. There are two boxes. So this is also going to reduce the sweetness of the pastry cream, which I like. I don't like really sweet American desserts. Yes, on our shelf. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have two of them. <laughs> Just that reach. is our shelf. For those of you taking class with me next semester, you are not to pull product from anywhere else except our pastry shelf. That's it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> what will happen if you add it here? Will you... Oh, it just... That's a mess. Okay. <laughs> All I want to do is loosen this up a little bit. Okay, so now it's a little looser looking. See that? Okay. If you over whipped cream, that's the best way to do it. So we're almost done with this. We're going to put this in here. Oh, wow. And then you're really going to see that nice lighter texture. And you want to get this in there fairly quickly, too. Do you see how that's much more mousse like? Yeah. rather than gummy and gluey. Yeah. So again, it's just something I really enjoy and I, I think a lot of people who do have it really appreciate it as well. It's not so heavy and filling. So that's pasty cream and whipped cream. Just whipped cream. No sugar added mm -hmm. to the whipped cream, okay? So it's not like sweet whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And that's it, okay? So we want to make sure... <coughs> we can go ahead and add the rest of it. And again, it helps reduce the sugar in it. So you, all the other flavors of everything really come out. Because on this one, we're going to have the fresh fruit for the um, tart. And that has the sugar in the dough. And then we also have, for the clears, the chocolate on top. We want to taste everything. should not be overly sweet. Okay, so finish stirring this together. Um, this, if you just put wherever you got the other one, we give them the rest Chef Sarah, do you have a certain name for that? Creme mousseline. Creme mousseline? Yeah. Okay?